Welcome back. Today I want to tackle the question if so-called density sprays actually improve laser printed transparencies used for exposing PCBs. The density spray I have at my hands is the density spray LF-A from Huber, yeah, a German company. We'll examine the transparencies with a microscope before and after and <laughs> at the very end I yeah, video cut uh, the before and after for a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, in between, of course, we will use the density spray and I will show that process in detail so you see how I actually applied that stuff here. So. That's the microscope setup. I did everything I could to make these transparencies really lay flat here under the lens. And now we have a look at the first one and uh, after that at the second one before applying the uh, density spray. Okay, we will always look at the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pads of uh, uh, I think 14 pin dip package with these 0.35 millimeter traces between them. And a side note, please have a look at these black specks the laser printer produced and also that hole seems to be filled up. Let's have a look at the other transparency. Here are the four pads on the other transparency and please note this time the specs, <laughs> black specs the laser printer produced are at different spots. So if you put these two transparencies on top of each other, these arrows are not amplified but yeah, the <clears throat> signal, yeah, the traces and the pads, they are amplified. So yeah, of course you could stack three of these transparencies on top of each other, but then you run into other problems. So let's use that density spray here and yeah, direction for use after printing with laser printer. Spray density spray LF-A evenly from a distance of approximately 25 centimeter onto the laser foil and let it dry. So let's do that. So I'm not wearing a microphone for this, but uh, I'm here somewhere. Just uh, that we know where 25 centimeters are. It's about -ish here. Yeah. And yeah, my spray is all ready. Let's try that. That's it. Now we wait until it's dry. Okay, the stuff dried and yeah, you can actually see a difference. And yeah, there are reflections here. These are not holes. These are reflections in the toner. And you see the toner have, yeah, it's rougher now. It's definitely rougher. And it, it seems that it has expanded a little bit. So yeah, it definitely did something. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the other transparency. Definitely exactly the same effect. So yeah, uh, the, the, the traces, they appear to be thicker like they expanded, they must have absorbed some of the chemicals and expanded. So yeah, this stuff is doing something and it seems to be it's doing something positive. But now let's have a comparison side by side. Okay, I'm just doing a voice over here and on the left is the before and on the right is the after. And yeah, 
directly comparing them side by side, uh, the after with the density spray, it looks almost like, you know, tar. <laughs> While, uh, yeah, before it's, it's black, all right, it's absolutely black, but it doesn't have that shine. And that shine, of course, reflects the light and makes it maybe, maybe a little bit more light tight. Now, these were the second samples uh, left again before, right after. And yeah, it's exactly the same. No difference here. Hmm. Just for your convenience, I printed out the layout again. So this is untreated and this is one of my treated samples. And if you hold them side by side against the light, yeah, indeed. This is blacker. There's less light going through than through this one. This is quite visible here and this is uh, has nothing to do which is on top and which is on the back. Oops, sorry. This is darker. The treated one is definitely darker. Left to right, yeah, I mean, it can always be a trick of the light, but no. This is definitely darker. So yeah, seems to work. So density spray has indeed an effect on your laser printed exposure masks. Is it a large effect? Not really, but it is noticeable. And at least I think uh, it improves your exposure masks. Anyway, let me know what you think and till next time, bye.